Hello everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Tuesday weather video brought to you by Country TV, Sky Channel 081. Well, nothing too dramatic in the forecast today, apart from a bit of wind blowing across the country. Uh, light showers may be caught up in the westerly out here on the western side. Eastern areas mainly dry and inland areas mostly sunny. But as we move through the next couple of days, we do have some life coming in towards us from the Southern Ocean and from the subtropics. The two are gonna meet up, producing a front that looks remarkably similar to the one that came through a couple of weeks ago, bringing flooding to Hokitika and also to Whanganui. So we're going to track that in a second. First of all though, high pressure up here for Wednesday, westerlies blowing through across many other areas and showers, light ones, along our west coast. Same old sort of stuff really that we've seen the last day or two. By Thursday though, that's when the winds really pick up. Higher pressure up here, so lighter winds, but down here, stronger nor'westers are building up as the day goes on. They'll become strong to gale force in exposed areas later. And then as we head in towards Friday, that's when this front moves up and here it is, lying at lunchtime Friday near Whanganui. Now we've got a new story on the Weather Watch website that answers a lot of the questions you might have about this and how it might affect this area. We are hopeful it will move through a little bit faster than that one that came through a couple of weeks ago. Big high up here though, blocking it a wee bit, slowing its movement down. But at this stage, we think it looks like it'll come in between about midday Friday and midnight Friday. And we're hoping it won't cause too many issues, but it is absolutely one to watch because of the recent events. Now, we'll, uh, if you need the 10-day forecast, you can find that on Country TV, Sky Channel 081.